Hey, what up guys? And in this video, uh, I'm taking some clubs that I bought from Goodwill and another charity shop out onto the course in San Jose Muni and trying to shoot better than bogey golf. So uh, I have two woods. These ping woods, which I got from Goodwill, um, are pretty awesome and they're in okay shape. And then also uh, I got these older Wilson K28 irons. So I did a little research on this and it looks like they're from maybe the 70s. And I just put like a simple easy tape grip on here. So let's go out to the course and see how I did. All right, first drive of the day with the four wood and actually went pretty straight right down the center of the fairway. No complaints. Brought out the seven wood here, pretty easy to hit and it's pretty high lofted. Uh, so no issue getting it off the ground. Next up, first shot with the iron, tugged it a little bit to the left, could not really get these to go very well. Didn't bring out a putter this time from the charity shop or Goodwill. I uh, just used my two ball and I'm trying to get used to it. But so far, very surprised I'm just able to pull off the par. Second drive of the day with this club, and at this point I can't get over how much I really like it. I was just hitting it straight and I was just hitting it good, and it wasn't actually as hard to hit as I thought it was going to be. Unfortunately, the camera timed out on this because someone called me on my phone, but this is where I ended up, and I used the 9 iron to chip onto the green, and I actually caught it pretty close, so I ended up saving my par here, so... Uh, so far, you know, from a 9 iron perspective, from the Wilson set, not bad. Up again, another 4 iron. Just listen to the reaction. Can't believe it. So next shot, couldn't really get my distance downs with these irons. Maybe it's because they're a regular shaft. Maybe I just need to get better. Hit it over the green and I only had a 9 iron as my highest lofted club to chip on. Uh, and ended up hitting over the green and then trying to do a little bit of a, a bump and run uh, for uh, saving my par. Just wanted to get bogey here. So missed my bogey putt, ended up getting the double, but did my best with you know the tools that I had. Next up a par three, so I get a hit with the irons teed up. Um, ended up being a little bit short here, um, so it gives me another opportunity to do a bump and run. Uh, did a great bump and run actually and I was you know kind of surprised about this nine iron like I said earlier um, <laughs> Only club that I really liked in this whole set So just tap in get another par so overall looking good to break 45 Next up another four wood and I just can't believe how great I'm hitting this club um, Thinking I'm invincible now like you see my reaction just loving it out there can't believe it. I right, just a little update. The four wood, the pink four wood, I'm hitting super good. Like I carry it like maybe 220. Pretty insane. And it's straight. Like I haven't hit a bad one yet. I probably jinx myself, but it's pretty fun. The irons are really getting really hard to get used to. They're like blades and they're really old in the regular flex. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, two over after four. I'm trying to try to hit the green, but the irons, I was hitting in my backyard, but the carry distance, I'm not sure about these. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Hitting another blind shot into the sun. Didn't know where this was really going. Couldn't really see. But surprisingly, ended up on the green. So just whacking it up there. Thought I was going to make it. Two ball coming in in the clutch. Um, yeah. So another par. At this point, I'm pretty ecstatic on where I'm at. First jinx of the day. Thought I was invincible with this club. Ended up pull hooking it left and into some junk. Oh, Not good, but Yanked hey, let's see what I can do. I am here. Green is through the tree, so I'm just gonna come out this way. All right, taking my medicine here and just punching out backwards. Okay, okay short left is Next fine. shot, I just don't, I just wanna, be don't wanna be in the bunker on the right. And lo and behold, oh, no. guess what guys? Hit into the bunker and I only have a nine iron to get out. Fortunately, it wasn't a bad shot. It just ended up rolling out a little more than anticipated. Here's my bogey save attempt. Trying to save my double, and I missed. 
not too set, not too happy here, but triple bogey five over. Hey, five over through this many holes, can't complain. Next tee shot, actually hit on the green to the left. Very surprised at this point. Unfortunately, with the two ball discs control wise, ended up blasting this one by. Still need to get the two ball down. Here's the returner. Couldn't quite do it. So, picked up another stroke here. Currently six over with two holes left to go. So just another solid forward off of the tee into the middle of the fairway. And I thought, hey, I should be hitting this also off the ground and giving it a shot. All right, so forward off the tee, forward off the ground. It's, I'm into the wind. I'm not going to get it up there onto the green, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So forward off the ground. Hit it pretty good, but ended up drawing it to the left. We wanted it to sit just ever so slightly. In a decent position to chip on, used the 9-iron, got it up there, and it hit a little bit too hard, so I have a long one for my par just to save it here. Step up with the putt. And not the greatest roll, but not the worst roll, just cleaning it up here. And just give that a tap in, move it on. So bogey seven over, all I have to do is not get double and I break 45. Hit this one just like a few holes before, just pulled it a little bit to the left with the draw, but it went really far. End up hitting the seven wood here, almost nipped the tree on the right, and ended up rolling pretty far, so I don't have that much distance to the green. Just another chipping on, and I just flared it out to the right. I have no idea what happened here, but I got a long ways to the flag. Long putt coming up. Two ball was just doing okay today. Hit it up there, and it doesn't look that bad, but it's actually a pretty bad leave. As you can see, hate to see it. Ended with three putt, but broke 45 and met my goal of breaking bogey golf with these clubs. All right, so as you can see, I achieved my goal of breaking bogey golf, shot a 44, and it really wasn't the club's fault that I got from the charity shop and Goodwill. It was more like my putting. Um, surprises out there was, of course, the four wood that I hit off the tee almost every hole. This was a joy to hit. Um, not the most forgiving club, but if you hit it in the center of the club face, boy, does it go. I was able to hit it maybe like 220 yards of carry or total, 220 yards total. And man, it was super fun. I was using a super hard ball. I was using a top flight to get as much roll as possible. Um, but in terms of the irons, I think, you know, the only iron that I really liked was this nine iron because around the greens, it was pretty nice to chip and do some bump and runs. Uh, I even hit a sand shot out of it on hole number six. And that was a little scary because this is like, Literally the uh, the highest lofted club that I have. So, you know, just the 9-iron was great. Um, these are regular uh, flex shafts, and they're really heavy. So from what I understand, this is, you know, something from the 70s. And I think this is supposed to be the store-bought, off-the-shelf type of starter set clubs that you can get from back then. So, um, but other than that, yes, the woods are awesome. The 4-wood, the 7-wood, the pings, uh, I really enjoyed. Maybe if I get my hands on the driver, you know, somewhere down the road. I plan on doing more of these uh, charity shop, you know, or Goodwill shop challenges to try to break 45 on the front nine in San Jose, which is, you know, something that's pretty feasible. It's not very long and you can get away with not hitting driver on most of the holes. So yeah, 220 carry was the sweet spot. If I could just get in the fairway, you know, I could set myself up pretty good. Um, but yeah, like I said, favorite club by far of this first, I guess, of many charity shop challenges is this four wood uh, by ping this wood is just was such a joy to hit and i really really enjoyed it so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one